Hey, good morning. I am here in Bali. It is five in the morning. I wanted to break down a little bit of my morning routine. It gets me set up to take on the day with confidence, with excitement, energy, um, all the good stuff. But let's see if you can see this at all. It is so pretty. I can't believe how dark it is at five in the morning here. But um, let's take a look. Okay, so one of the very first things that I like to do in the morning is meditate and quite honestly, usually I do this while I'm still laying in bed and um, once I've woken up or my alarm goes off, I spend 10, 15, 20 minutes just doing a visualization and meditation while I'm laying there. I also usually combine this with Reiki and energy work because I am a Reiki master and I'm very passionate about that and um, using the chakras, use, uh, using the meridians in our body and the energy channels. So I spend some time doing that, but then I also like to do um, like a seated meditation because a lot of times in the morning, if it's very early, I kind of drift off when I'm doing this meditation while I'm still laying in bed. Um, and I think that's okay because I still feel like my body's doing what it needs to do. If I'm tired and I need to fall back asleep, I kind of doze off for a little bit. Um, but then I like to do a seated one as well so that I'm like focused on the meditation itself. So there are so many different meditations you can use and I think it's really important to find a meditation style that feels best for you so that it doesn't feel like work because when most people start meditation, it's really difficult. It's hard for their minds to slow down and they've spent most of their life being overwhelmed, being caught up in all of their thoughts. So it doesn't come easy or naturally to sit quietly with their thoughts and feel okay with that. It gets really uncomfortable for a lot of people and this is why so many people give up on meditation before they've had the breakthroughs, before they've realized how powerful it is and how much it's actually going to solve that overactive mind. So if you haven't already, I have a free three day meditation challenge where I'm guiding you through three different styles of meditations. You also get access to my beginner's guide to meditation ebook, which is gonna help you really discover what kind of meditation will work best for you and your learning style which is huge because like I said, you want meditation to be fun. I love meditating. I love doing it. It feels so good. Um, it's just like an amazing thing for my mind, body and soul. But it took me time to get to this place where I found the right ways to do it, the ways that I respond best and I stuck to that. So that's like a little side note. You can check out that. The link is down in the description box below and check that out there. Um, but like right now this is beautiful because the moon is up it's um it's so quiet and peaceful right now in bali and it's the perfect time for me to just kind of set up do a meditation outside which i prefer anyway when i can do it and um just connect within so i'm going to do that for a little bit and then i'll pop right in and share some more tools with you guys Okay, so I just finished my meditation. You can see the beautiful sunrise. So nice. There's been um, so many birds chirping, bats flying around. The stars are still out. I'm like in literal heaven right now. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead to my other four habits that I do each morning. If you want to learn more about them, I have a special offer for you so you can click the button down below and I will teach you my five morning success habits for 50% off and give you guys an insight into what I do every day to set myself up to get into this vibration, this space, this energy, um, into this container where I'm able to serve, to show up at my best, to feel confident and at peace 
and um, these are five habits that like the most successful people in the world do every single day because habits routine all of these things are so important for for stability and for consistency and for um, motivation anyway so in order to show up as your best self and really accomplish the things you want to do in the world your morning is the most important foundational part of your day in doing that and these five habits will get you there so i'd love to share the rest of them with you um, as i said i'm going to go head off and do the rest by myself and i will see you guys on tomorrow's video take care bye